out in the river in the fall, there's a lot of salmon in the streams. We want to make sure that your dog or your kid, brother, or your, even your parents sometimes aren't actually walking across salmon reds if they happen to be in the river. So some of the things to look out for is what we're going to talk about. If you notice, most of the sediment on the bottom of the stream bed here has a brownish blackish algae on it. And that makes it look dark. When a salmon comes along, a female, she's going to start flipping on her side and whacking the, so the bottom of the sediment with her tail. And as she does this, it turns over some of the sediment. And as the sediment gets turned over, the current kind of carries it downstream a little bit. What the salmon is doing is making a pit, a sort of depression in the sediment so that she can safely deposit her eggs into that depression. When a suitable male comes along, hubba hubba, somebody that she really wants to mate with, she'll use that pit and deposit a few eggs into it. The male will come along and he'll deposit his milk into there, fertilizing the eggs. The female then will move forward a little bit and slap the sediment again with her tail and cover those eggs up. What this effectively does in the river, it makes a structure that has a hole or a pit and then a pile behind it, a pile of rocks. And so right in front of me here is a fairly large salmon red. And I know it is because there's a big hole right here, a pit, and a big pile behind it of rocks. Now, it's safe for me to actually go into this pit. I'll see how much deeper it is than where I was a second ago. The water is almost up to my knees now. I can tell that the sediment that's all black and brown has been turned over and excavated out of here. There's actually a wall right along here that I can see. The eggs, they're all in the pile of rocks that are behind the pit. Notice where my water line is? So salmon, they can dig a pretty big hole, just so you know. They try to put the reds in the area where essentially the water's diving down. Um, this particular area right here happens to be right after a pool and it turns into a ripple which means that the elevation is changing down so that the water will continually be going through the substrate right here and that's really important because the eggs need oxygen and they need oxygenated water and so if the, as I what I mean by water diving down is it's actually going through the sediment right now flowing through the reds and keeping those eggs oxygenated underneath the gravel if they were to put them in an area like a deep pool or something the water might be just flowing over the top of it and not really getting down into the substrate and, and oxygenating those eggs. The salmon, steelhead, and trout, they'll try to put their reds at the head or behind a riffle because that's where water will be flowing through the sediment. They don't want to put their reds in places like there's a habitat called a glide. A glide is an area where the bottom is uniform all the way across and the water tends to just flow over the top of the bottom. And you know it's a glide because there's really no waves on top of the river. It's just like the water going past you without, without any ripples. It's not a pool because there's no like change or bowl shape. It's all the same elevation and the water's just flowing right past you. They don't generally like to do that because there's not a lot of wa water getting down into the sediment to keep those eggs oxygenated. So glides are great places to cross the river.